So now that we've done all of the hard work and we have all of our information in our journal, now we can get to the business of figuring out three-dimensional shapes. So solid figures can be classified by the number of faces, edges, and vertices. We've already done that part in our journal. We have faces, edges, and vertices. A polygon that is a flat surface is a solid figure is called a face. So this part right here, this is a face. So in your journal, on the next page, just so we remember where all these are, I want you to draw this rectangular prism. So I know I have a rectangle. And I'm going to make it fairly large, but I need to make it a prism. So this line and this line are parallel. This line and this line are parallel. This one and this one are parallel. Keep that in mind. This is called a face. This is where you're going to need your colors. So break out a crayon. I'm going to go with green. I like green. And I'm going to gently cover, sorry, color the face of my rectangular prism. So this is a face. So is this and this and the one on bottom and the one over here and the one over there. All in all, I have six faces on a rectangular prism. Okay, six of them. Then we have, you need another color, something dark. We have what is known as an edge. The edge is where these come together. All right, so the edge of a shape is the side, like where all the sides are. Like if I was using this rectangular prism, this is my edge. This is an edge. All four of them are. They're edges. All of these are edges. Okay? One more color, something bright and bold. Ooh, blue, green. I like it. And finally, we have these little spots right here. The blue spots, this is a vertex. It's where my edges and my where all of my faces come together to a point. All right? So this edge, this face, this face, and this face are all coming together right here. That is a vertex where they all come together. Once you have this in your journal, you're good. I'm going to move this, and I'm going to write it over here. So this is a vertex. This is an edge. So knowing all of this is actually going to help us when we go to talk about our uh, shapes. So we need to name the faces of prisms. We have a cube. We have a triangular prism. I don't have even a rectangular prism. Right? Rectangular prism, triangular prism, paper crayons. Cube. Okay. So let's trace the faces of a cube. Name the plane figures you drew. So the names of the faces on a cube. What shape is this? That's right. It's a square. How about on this one? What shapes do we have? We have rectangles and we have squares. How about my triangular prism? What shapes do we have? I have a triangle and I have a rectangle. You'll need to fill this in on class kick, my friends. So how many faces do these things have? If you look in your journal, you have that information. We went through it already. We went through faces edges, and vertices for all three of those shapes. So go ahead and fill this in on your class cake page. Share and show. Knowing your shapes, knowing the geometric shapes that you're working with, 
is extremely beneficial because it applies to real life things. So let's look at these shapes here. It says name the solid figure that has the faces shown to the right. Two triangles and three rectangles. What shape is that? Two triangles, three rectangles. Right? That is a triangular prism. You need to be able to name these shapes. Just like the solid objects that you see here. What shape is this? You have that in your notes. What shape is this one? Also in your notes. How about this one? Mm -hmm. And what shape is this? Make sure you spell them correctly since they're in your journal. Make sure you think through what you're seeing. Yes, this has an opening, but that's not what it's asking you about. It's asking you what shape this is. Okie okay, dokie. Think through these guys. It's really important to be able to name the shape based on how many faces, edges, and vertices that they have. So you're going to need to start thinking through this and start memorizing your shapes. Head on over to finish this page, then head to the next page to try on your own.